Welcome back to Star Wars Junk, guys. Video is a little different this time. I found this website that shows you wish books uh, or catalogs from the 70s and the 80s and all kinds of decades. And you can actually look through them like they're real catalogs. I'm going to start with 1979. I wanted to look at 1978, uh, but they didn't have 78 online and skipped from 77 to 79. I looked through the 1977 one real quick. Being that Star Wars wasn't out yet, uh, well, the figures wasn't out yet, wasn't really much Star Wars stuff in it, so I thought we would just skip 77 and go to 79. Now, I don't know about you. These books were amazing to have as a kid. My grandma had all of them, and I remember always just flipping through it, looking at all the pictures at Christmas time, circling what I wanted, looking at all these toys, uh, not just toys. For some reason, I was fascinated by watches during this time in the early 80s. Loved all kinds of watches. I, I don't know why I was so fascinated about watches. But I thought I'll look through I'm not going to look through every page because there's like 400 pages in this thing. So I'm going to kind of just skip around and try to get over the toys and comment on the toy pages. And if you like this video, hit thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below and we'll pick another year. Uh, we'll go up to, to the maybe the early 80s and talk about what's in it. So let's, uh, let's click on the page and open it up. Now again, I don't think kids today can understand. This is kind of like our Amazon before the internet. So we just got our first little logo page here. Let's go. Here's some uh, sports stuff. Now, I've never been a sports guy. Never really been to sports. But for some reason, I would have killed for this uh, vest right here. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. I was really, around this time, into the Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't know why. Uh, they must have went to the Super Bowl that year or something. I remember I was into, well, I was into Mean Joe Green because I won a jersey from Coke. Back then, you get a glass bottle of Coke. Take the top off. It had a little piece of plastic inside. You peel it off till if you won. I won a mean Joe Green jersey. So, I, and I think he played. Am I right? He played for the Steelers. After that, I fell in love with the Steelers. Never watched a game, but I love the Steelers. And I had a jacket, but these are these are the vests. I would have probably killed for that back then. Now, there's a bunch of people fitting the ghosts, hang out in the snow, all dressed like look like some kind of crazy kid cult. Speaking of crazy looking kid cults, um, let's skip this page for it. Now, here we go. This is what I'm look at this. Look at this. That's see, I would have been more like number two. That would have been me. Uh, I thought it was probably well, 79 was probably going on seven. Uh, doing math real quick in my head. I thought I was probably number one, but I was probably this little dork, uh, number two kid right here. Uh, you even got the girls. See, people that like, oh, girls don't like. Girls didn't have anything for Star Wars. Girl, girls didn't like Star Wars. It was aimed for boys. Nope, girls like Star Wars. Even 1979. Look at that. There's a. I think that's a girl. That's a girl, right? Yeah, I guess she's wearing something like a girl. She's got that 80, that late 70s, early 80s bowl haircut that was so popular back then. I'm glad that's never come back in style. Um, I'm not even gonna talk about these people over here. So, oh, look at this, a Mork and Mindy. Look at that Mork from Orc shirt. Whew, remember that you get these shirts? They were horrible. Uh, you wash them one time and they start peeling off. There's little iron-on shirts. And who's that, Sean Cassidy? Uh, my sister probably had that ugly shirt. And that, look at that, that's like a onesie. A onesie for uh, teenagers. Okay, I think I'm going to... Here's some more jerseys again. Was it in the sports? Maybe you were... Oh, here we go. Star Wars pajamas. I don't remember having any of these, but damn, I sure wish I did. Look at this robe. Number three right here. Is that three? That has got to be the coolest kid in this whole book. I mean, look at him. Look at that confidence on his face. He knows he's a badass with his Star Wars. And I don't think I've ever seen that logo before. There it is again right there on number four. There's a Stormtrooper. Is that Boba Fett? Yeah, this is 1979. You know, uh, before... The new film, Four Empire Strikes Back, and there's Boba Fett on a Star Wars shirt. Let's make sure. Let's zoom it in. See if we can zoom it in. Just make sure. There we go. Make sure that's a Boba Fett. Yep. Man, that's a Boba Fett shirt from 1979. Let's see. Yep. Boba Fett, Star Wars. Golden brown. Look at that. Uh, ugh, I never like Scooby-Doo. I gotta hate Scooby-Doo. There's Buck Rogers. Uh, Flash Gordon. That's not from the movie. That's gotta be from this cartoon, I guess. Got Spider-Man, and you got the Morkin. More from Orc shirt uh, and Spider Man. Let's go back out here. 
Do we have any Star Wars over there? No, we don't. Let's go. Okay, we've got some really little kid stuff here. And there's a little, look, more from work. I guess kids really love more from work. Um, that's Wonder Woman. That's the stupidest Wonder Woman mask I've ever seen in my life. These are little pajamas. It looks like they come with capes and Spider Man. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty stupid. Let's see what else we got here. That's kind of creepy. Man, we shorted dress. Oh, look at this cool kid. Look at this kid. That right there is. Man, that is the cool. Ooh, look at this kid's hair. God, we were ugly back then, and we didn't even know it. I think I had this shirt right here. That is me right there. That's how I looked, and that's my style right there. That was me going to school, I hate to say it. Getting into the baby stuff. Okay, I think I'm going to skip around, skip some pages real quick. So let's skip a little bit. Yeah, Mork, Mork again, man. Mork was popular. There's some uh, Marvel wall clocks, I guess. Uh, here's some Star Wars stuff. Let's zoom in here and see if we can look at this Star Wars stuff here. And it's Mork again. Look at there. Okay, we got a number 10. We got a Darth Vader. Let's see what it says over here. About number 10. You know, oh, number 10. Yep, all these Star Wars. Space characters. Okay, we got Classic right there. We got a Battlestar. We got a Star Trek. What is that? Another Flash Gordon. Watch with Darth Vader. Pictured on dial. Dial is numbered at hours of 3, 6, 9, and 12. Black vinyl stripe. Shipping weight one ounce. Man, look at that. We got watch three watch with R2 D2 and C. Look at that. C 3PO. Pictured and fully numbered dialed. Look at that. A blue strap. Man, that's that's some nice stuff right there. Let's see if we got any more watches real quick and then we'll get on over to the toys. Um yeah, nothing really more for the watches. Let's head on over to the toys. Okay, looks like uh some toys right here. Damn it, is that Mork from Mork again? Let me zoom in. Man, he is on every page. I didn't realize Mork was so popular back then. Yep, that's him. Mork from Mork with his talking space pack. He says, nada, nada. Man, that's, man, I didn't know. I forgot he was that popular. I mean, I knew he was popular. I didn't know he had so many toys, though. Let's go back out here. Now, this is kind of in the girl section. I wouldn't think girls were really Mork from Mork. And look at this. Look at this Wonder Woman down here. Look at them legs. Ooh, she's got legs. Them are some legs. Look at that. Let's see what. Whoa, well, look at it. Oh, this is some creepy stuff. Look at that clown. Look at that. Oh, number three, Lester. Anybody remember Lester? And I think I had this one, but he's wearing different clothes. This one here, number one. Simon says. Or oh, maybe it's number four I had. I had one. It was really creepy. Don't even get me started over here. Those Raggedy Andy. Oh, I hate Raggedy Andy. Always hated those. Uh, who in the hell would buy this? Okay. Now we're getting into some cooking wear. Oh, come on. We want the good We want the good toys. We don't want kitchen appliances. Okay. Come on. Sewing kits. Come on. Come on. There's a guy. I always want to get one of these boats and put it together, but I knew if I ever bought it, I would never put it together. Uh, so I'm kind of glad I never got one. Because it would just sat in a box. Here's somebody rocking out with his electric guitar. There's a great drum set right there. Let's see what else we get here. I don't know what this kid's doing, but he's showing his ass to the camera. It's not really nice. This guy's punching somebody. Let's see. Here we go. BG's turntable. You can carry it with you. Now, how good is that? Look at that. Whew. I had to sell those fast. This is 1979. Disco was dying that year, I think. Uh, is that a Mr. Microphone? Anybody remember? Oh, I forgot all about Mr. Microphone. Yeah, you turn on like an FM channel and you could just talk on the radio. Of course, uh, you know, no one could really hear you. But there was a girl next door to me singing her Mr. Microphone. And we could pick it up at our house. It was so funny. I don't think she ever knew we listened to her. And look at this dork right here. Look at that. That is a freaking dork. Who the hell about BG's guitar? Okay. Let's get out of the music room. Let's get back over to the toys now. Let's see. Getting into getting in the toys. Let's see. To the toys here. Look at that Viewmaster. Viewmaster was the bomb. Look at that. And down here, I love these things right here. And that's a Star Wars one right there. Let's zoom it in and see. 
Yeah, I mean, this is without a Netflix Viewmasters, and this is the thing you look through, you turn this crank, and you you put the cartridge in, the movie cartridge in, and watch it. How it works. Movie cassette snaps into plastic viewer. Viewer, movie, forward, backwards, fast, or slow by turning the crank. Yeah, you could do it backwards or in slow motion. I love that. No batteries needed. What you get, Star Wars movie viewer and cassette. I actually have one of these uh, that I bought a couple years ago. Ages, ordering information, three years and up. Order extra cassettes below. Let's see what you get. You could get um, Destroy Death Star, Battle in Hyperspace, Alien Terror. Yep, they made it like one of these for Alien. I actually has that. Uh, I actually had that for Aliens. I think a rated R movie that they make where you can watch clips from it. Uh, Destroy the Death Star. Battle in hyperspace. I had one of these cassettes, but I don't think it was... Mine was almost like... Maybe it was Destroy the Death Star. I can't remember now. I'll have to go back and see. Look at that. Now, that's a badass camera right there. How much were these? Eight, almost nine dollars. Too bad, but... That's probably like twenty dollars today's dollars. Okay, let's see what else we get here. This is cool. I never... I'm, I used to see this in the magazine. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. You play your record there and watch it. It's like a little TV on it, but never had it. Mm -hmm. I never got into a, a retro sets, maybe. Maybe Lincoln Logs. Here, you can get your own kitty typewriter. Does kids even know what typewriter is anymore? I had a calculator like this. Mine was a little different. Mine had like a, like a, I don't know, like an old man on it. Mine well, has got an old man on it, but it's different than the one I had. Come on, let's get to the tool. Look at this. Woo, put that in your room. Look at that. Look at this. I don't even know what to say about it. It's so stupid. And there's a big butcher here. I would have kicked the shit out of that if I ever had that. Um, dang, a NASA toy box. Is that a toy box? Somebody's sitting in it, though. Okay, let's get through this boring stuff. Look at the John here. Look at John's hat. Walkie-talkies. I always loved getting walkie-talkies, and they always sucked. You play one for about an hour, and, man, you couldn't. They, they were horrible. This has got to be the smallest trampoline I've ever seen. Here's some of those bags. Remember you punch these? Blow them up, punch them. About two hours later, it's got a hole in it. I always like the sand at the bottom. I always wanted to play with the sand. I don't know why. Okay, a unicycle. These were, I saw a Cringer from He-Man, one of these at an antique store. And I wish I had bought it. That is so cool. Okay, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think this kid right here is on Stranger Things, isn't he? Okay. Bad joke. Come on. A lot of toys, but let's go. Let's get out of this baby stuff. Here we go. Some dolls. Look at that. That's got to be the ugliest Hulk I've ever seen. And look at this Ewok right here. Before the movie even came out. Yeah, I know. That's no Ewok. I'm just... Uh, there's Mickey Mouse without a shirt. Grover, he was always my favorite as a guest. See, we did, see, no Elmo. We didn't have that Elmo. And I had this uh, Kermit the Frog down here. He had Velcro in his hand where he could uh, snap him around you. I did have that. And some ugly monkeys, I tell you. Some Halloween costumes. Please tell me that's not Darth Vader. Please tell me that's not Darth Vader. Let's zoom it in and see here. There you can play Doctor. Uh, won't get into all that. There's some makeup. So he must be some kind of fake kiss makeup. Number 11. Let's see if that's Darth Yep, that's Darth Vader. Whew. And look at that. We got DC and Marvel. One page sharing the love. Darth Vader. Let's see. Number 11. Is that yep. Darth Vader cake with mask. Six dollars. I like when they used to go to, I used to walk, go to Zayers right around uh, Halloween time. And these masks would be in uh, cake boxes. Oh, I used to love it. That brings back some memories. Let's see. Let's see. I'm trying to get to the action figure for a poor y'all. Down here is the Kenner uh, little Tots treehouse. Uh, it may look familiar to you. It got replaced in probably 85, 86, right around then. In the Ewoks line. Uh, it was the Ewok treehouse. A wicked treehouse. Looks about the same. Uh, I just saw that last picture. Weeble Wobbles. I forgot all about that. Damn, I sure had that. I love this thing. Yeah, I had that too when I was little. Let's see. Mm, come on. Trying to get out of these little kid toys. Let's get through the good toys. Come on. I hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. 
Look at this. I I remember seeing this in the magazine. Which stare at this. I think I circled this all the time. But my mom was like, we're not paying ten dollars for that. That's crazy. Okay, we're getting into more of the action figure stuff now. I think here's some um Miko action. Let's zoom in on the Miko action figure so we can see it real good. Okay, we got He-Man, we got Hulk. Meet our famous superheroes at Hulk's hideaway. Here's Hulk's van. Look at that. Is that in the new uh Avengers movie? If it was, that'd be I would go see it. Uh we got Superman, Robin, and then we got a Batman. We got some kind of little Hulk playset thing here carrying case. Look at this. Now that's pretty cool. I can't believe they hadn't came back out with that. That's pretty cool. Um there's a white Hulk. I don't know what that number eleven is. Both the Walking Hulk and Marzen are over forty five inches. There's a Hulk chair you can sit in. So that's kind of neat stuff. Let's see what we got on the next page. Uh we have the old western town. Look at that. Bunch of cowboys, uh, long ranger toys, you know, nothing, I was never got into that much. Uh, let me zoom out so y'all can see this thing. Look at this. I love this thing. We, My brother had it. Uh, I did a video here about 10 forgotten toys, and I put that one on here. Um, we used it for Star Wars. We, uh, My brother would put his uh, stormtroopers at the top, and I would be the rebels, and we would try to take over the base. I love that. That's very cool. And uh, I'll show you something else really cool down here. I never had this, but I remember a lot of people wanted to collect it, especially in the 90s when I got into collecting toys. Right here, Godzilla. That's a cool Godzilla. Uh, that's a stretch arm drawn Superman, I guess. And I don't know why he's hugging um, Godzilla's leg. Pretty cool Spider Man. So let's see what else we got here. Come on, that can't be all the action figures now. And here we go. That's the page we wanted. Let's look at this page. Let's zoom in so we can look at it really good. First, we got the creature cantina that comes with, yep, blue snaggletooth. We got Greedo over here waving. Hey, hey, Greedo. Got Hammerhead gear, giving, giving you the crooked eye. We got Walrus Man. We got Greedo. Look, we got wrist snaggletooth here. We've got uh, Boba Fett waving at you. We got Darth Vader with some stormtroopers. We got Walrus Man Hammerhead. We got Chewbacca, Three Go R2 Power Droid. We got a bunch of Jawas and Sand People. Uh, let's see what it said. The Creature Cantina includes four posable plastic figures Greedo, Snaggletooth, Hammerhead, and Walrus Man. Graphic depict characters and activity outside the Cantina. Cardboard, scene measures, 18 by 7 inches high. Eight dollars. Now, see, this wasn't much. This is all you got with the playset was this backdrop right here. It wasn't much of a playset. It wasn't very fun. And we got this the diecast. Number now we got the Falcon, Star Destroyer, X Wing, Land Speeder, Y Wing, which is kind of unusual. We didn't get much Y Wing stuff back then. Uh, even the ship for the figures didn't come out to the Return of the Jedi. And Vader's Tie Fighter. Let's make sure Y Wing cockpit window detaches panel. They were pretty fun. Let's see what we got on the next page. And that's the granddaddy of them all. Look at that. The Falcon. That was the thing to have. Let's see how much that Falcon was back then. $25. Whoo. $25. I wonder what that equals up to today. This is the best 12 inch uh, figure in the, in the large scale line. Boba Fett. Look at that. That is a great figure. How much was he? Let's see. Replica of the great. Uh, yeah. Replica of the Galactic Bounty Hunter. And then, of course, we got the figures down here. And look at that. We got a blue Snaggletooth by himself, not part of the playset. And we got him over here. That's like they're actually trying to sell them as two different figures. We got blue Snaggletooth and red Snaggletooth. Uh, let's see what it says up here. This special set. One, uh, this special set includes 16 of your favorite figures from the original Star Wars film. Luke, Han, Ben, Obi-Wan, R2, 3DO, Stampy with Jawa. Death Star Commander. Also, Greedo, Snaggletooth, Hammerhead, and Walrus Man. Now, that's 16 figures, and you said you get 16. So, did you get Red Snaggletooth and Blue Snaggletooth? If so, that goes into my theory that you can't count Blue Snaggletooth as a variant because they were sold together in the same set. Huh. I never I never knew that. I'm going to go look into that and see if you, if you bought this 16-piece set, if you got both figures. That's uh, interesting. 
Now we're getting Star Trek toys. Look at that Enterprise. Captain Foley. Check this out. You'll love that. The Mego uh, figures. My brother had the Enterprise playset. At least to love that. Let's see if they got that down here. Oh, that's part of a playset. I've never seen that. James. Hungry, hungry hippos. You remember these uh vibrating? Um, you remember these vibrating games? You put you plug them in, they vibrate and they make the little pieces move. Can't remember if they were fun or not. But my brother had one. Look at this pinball machines. Not really that much video games. This was oh look at these now they're cool bicycles. Racetrack. I always loved racetracks and they weren't never as fun as they looked in the picture. Thunder van, look at that, that custom van, and that's cool. Here we go, video arcade cartridge system. Doesn't say Atari anywhere on it. If I'm right, Sears sold their own. They used Atari games, but they didn't call it an Atari. We've got telegames, yeah, that's what it was, telegames. That's pretty cool. There's some of the games you could get for it. Oh, look at that computer. Hoo -hoo, that's probably what you would use to listen to the first Star Wars podcast that we have up at StarWarsJunk.net. A little plug right there. There's that calculator I had with that little professor guy on it. Yeah, I had that. I always use my calculator to find out how old I would be in a certain year. And some more cool games right there. Some little robot. Look at this. A little fake Darth Vader guy. This is probably, this is like... This is one cool robot right here. Look at him. He's got a kind of got a hip walk to him there. Little handheld games. Remember this guy? What was that called? I don't know what that's called, but I used to have that. Oh man, what was that called? I can't remember. Someone out there helped me. I had that though. I think my sister had it. A little sports games. Everybody had that had those. Oh, was that it? And that's it, I guess. I go at the last page. Well, tell me what you think about this video. Like I said, I didn't really plan it out. Just kind of looked at it with you. But if you like it, we'll look through a 1980, maybe 81, 83. Give me a good year. We'll look through another year catalog. So, like I said, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And remember, head over to StarWarsJunk.net. And please support us at Patreon. All that, links to all that is in the description below. Thank you for watching. And thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>